So this is especially for my friends who are on the twin flame journey. They probably married to someone else or have just had a divorce and they are looking to consolidate their what has happened to them. So I, this is just a call out, a shout out to my dear friends who are either going through divorce or thinking of going through divorce because they're on their twin flame journey and they've realized that the partner that they're with are, is not their twin flame and they desire to come into union and ultimately live in harmony with their twin flame. So there is a question a lot of times that I receive uh, because I've been coaching and helping people out on their spiritual paths of Twin Flames Harmonious Union and uh, they have this question again and again pop up whether they you know whether it's legit or is it going to be accepted am I doing the right thing am I doing like you know going against some something that's godly so am I doing something wrong to the partner that I'm living with and I am divorcing right now so they live with this guilt or this guilt is not allowing them to move forward this this, this video is for you guys so basically I just want to share with you the truth of what has happened with the separation consciousness earth is actually a part of a dark dark part of the universe and it is the most challenging planet if you have been following any spiritual channels or any spiritual uh, gurus that have spoken about earth being in dark ages and of course Kali Yuga coming to an end very soon and it is actually towards the end of Kali Yuga right now we are realizing that the way that we had been living till now is not working for us and why because we had been blinded we had separated ourselves from our twin flames which means we had separated ourselves from god and kind of trying to build a life away from god through our own free will which has not worked properly right so this is the reason why we have been presented with the path of Twin Flames Harmonious Union as a path of union with God. So in order to really answer the guilt that you're holding on to, whether it's valid or not, the reason for that is because you felt guilty in the first place to commit to this person because at some point in your consciousness you knew that this person is not your twin flame whether you were aware of twin flame journey or not whether you knew what twin flames are you knew at some level you were compromising and that guilt or that kind of uh, anger towards yourself or shame towards yourself is coming to surface which you are refusing to see and actually address and move forward because this is the place where you have been holding a lot of grudge and that grudge is not just against yourself, it's against the society, it's against your parents or you know um, how you've been brought up, maybe your friends that have persuaded you to marry this person that you, that is not your twin flame. But as you meet your twin flame, because that person is your counterpart and they reflect your consciousness, you feel a lot of guilt and you probably block them or something like that. I have seen a lot of students who come to me for coaching, they block the person because they believe that uh, being loyal to this person that they're married to is the right thing to do. And let me be clear, I'm not uh, like proposing divorces the way divorces because there's a lot of hype about this topic right now. But I feel authenticity and honesty is the way for anything in your life whether you walk the path of twin flame journey or not whether you come into union or actually seriously walk the path you want to unite with god or not you believe in god or not whether whatever be the case all i'm saying is you need to be get you need to get clear are you in love with this person are you being honest with this person are you actually doing justice to the person that you're living with because they also have a twin flame. Now, it's it's been uh, spread 
of course from the separation consciousness because there the separation consciousness also has an agenda to keep us separated that is the ego right it keeps that agenda alive so there are a lot of fa- false coaches or false um ideas floating around that uh there are only certain number of twin flames not everyone is a twin flame which is stupidity because that's how god created us god created us as pairs as twin flames so each person each human being has a twin flame whether they are aware of it or not and slowly gradually people are becoming aware and they will become more and more aware it's not going to stop okay so it's not like one day or oh, it's a season is all going to go somewhere and things are going to get deleted and there'll be no twin flame journey suddenly no it's never going to happen it's going to be the other way around the fake society is crumbling the fake society that we had built of forcing the man uh, grabbing the man or sometimes you know women have done extreme things of you know getting a child with the man so that they can grab the man and be because they were they are so insecure inside and their insecurity stems from being in separation from their twin flame being in separation with god so and this has run from generation to generation it is not just happening in your life but if you don't address this deep part of you that is feeling separated from god separated from their twin flame then you're going to run this program even in your twin flame journey so let's come back to the topic that you're married to someone and you're feeling guilty first of all you need to face your own questions of why did i marry this person you need to go back to that moment of when you decided to marry this person you felt that this was love but you need to be honest now is was this love if this was love then how come i am falling in love with someone else then it is not true love so loyalty does not come from the outside you cannot force loyalty so this has been wrong concept being spread and you you've been taught that you need to you need to you have to be loyal and loyalty is all about control and force and that's when you are called as a good person in the society first of all stop taking validation from the society because society itself is crumbling society is built on the basis of separation consciousness it is built on trying to acquire land acquire a woman acquire a man everything on the outside not surrendering to how god created us god created us like flowers like in a in a garden and each flower has a masculine and feminine we're all having our own world like our own um our own universe in itself so within that universe there's abundance there's life purpose there is joy there is interaction with other unions as well but all you're doing is actually forcing yourself to live with a man or a woman who does not belong to you you're literally grabbing and grasping on to a person to some, who belongs to someone else so you you're four of you living in a same house you can say that because energetically you're always connected to your twin flame and you're forcing like your twin flame your your union like your four people actually living in the same house and that's what unfortunately it looks like right so it's time to release that guilt it's time to take steps within and heal your upsets with the person that you have attracted and living with you might have a lot of attachments you might have a lot of expectations there might be a lot of anger you know i never got love from this man i i tried everything i did everything in my capacity i still did not get love so there's a lot of emptiness that you need to face that you're refusing to face you're refusing to come out and confess maybe you have a block on your throat and you're not able to speak your truth so these are the places where you need to look within and give yourself the opportunity to be a human being my friends stop being a robot or you know as we say in hindi katputli which is like a pinocchio you know those uh, dolls that are hung with strings and you know you're not meant to be like that society is does not hold the consciousness of god god holds the consciousness of god that is why you were presented with true love you deserve true love even the person that's living with you deserves true love maybe hand over the book to them and say hey you also have a twin flame you also deserve true love and i haven't been able to tr- truly love you even if you tried hard my friends you can never ever love 
another person even if you say you i did my 100% you might have done a thousand percent and exhausted yourself because you are not one consciousness you cannot go inside their soul and soothe their soul because that only your twin flame can and that only that person's twin flame can so unfortunately there's a lot of disappointment that you need to face within you and get clear on that so i can certainly help you out here my friends you don't ha- need to do it all by yourself all alone i have walked this myself and i can show you how to do it so definitely get in touch and i'm also hosting a workshop coming up on the 3rd of march this is for those who are struggling with inner work and how to do inner work or how to do mirror exercise because they're not able to feel their feelings i've seen this pattern t- pattern time and time again where you are refusing to go within and actually just sit down and face all your feelings and, and i know it can be a bit daunting it can be a bit scary and it took me many years to actually accomplish that so i'd like you to shorten that time and learn some techniques and tools and in order to release resistance let go of control and how to actually listen to yourself come closer to yourself get to know your feelings get to know yourself so that you can walk this journey by yourself train yourself how to heal yourself you don't need to go to a healer pay a reiki master every month and you know feel good for 20 days and then go back and fill their pockets you don't need to do that anymore right my friends so do register for this workshop it's there on my website and i'll leave the links in the description subscribe and i will see you in the next videos take care ciao